Um, I definitely think, because Marcus also has the time to kind of sit back and watch Delta Force as well. Watch how how they change. They even changing this play throughout um, the rest of his losers run. Uh, just give Marcus a little bit of time to mentally prepare, and I feel like Marcus, if if he cleans up uh, any of the mistakes that were made in the first in the winners final set against him, this could be a 3-0. Yeah, it can be. We've definitely seen how much uh, Game & Watch has been able to do as damage as he can be because, uh, well, the end card situations were definitely good as well as um, the projectile play from both the chef, the up airs, and everything. And we are just going to be seeing a straight-up rematch here between Marcus and Delta Force. Place your bets now, fans in the chat, who will win this? And if it's Delta Force, can he do it twice? Yeah, Delta Force definitely has a mountain to climb here, but it is not unclimbable. You just gotta get the, the right hiking boots, backpack, sleeping bag, food, all that. Uh, oh, okay. It's almost a <laughs> good start coming out from Lurkus. Is this is pretty much the start we expected from all of these players. Yeah. You know, oh, that's a big edge charge for Mark. He got it with the back air. Yeah, I was like, I didn't think the down smash to F smash would kill. It was definitely going to put on a lot of damage, but just the um, just being conscious enough to know, like, I can just easily follow this up and bear and get the kill. Just like such a, a great move by Marcus, going for the hyper aggressive play, knowing that he can't really get punched for it. Oh, the oh. double parry! Oh, okay. And a two. And a oh, four. four. And I get a six. Or an eight. Because that's multiplier as well. Yeah. Quick max. Ooh, it's a good air dodge to the uh, air. And a four so is connecting on Marcus. I mean, okay. Definitely from judges, judging from Marcus's reaction there, I don't know if he was expecting that to hit. But forward tilt, I mean, up tilt will connect and even the game out for now. Yep. But this is definitely still... I definitely still feel like Marcus is, has the momentum in this first game. Uh, not not only just with um, getting the first stock and the very good play, but also coming from winner's side too, uh, knowing that he already has the ability to beat Delta Force. Ooh, trying to go for the two frame with the sewer lit. Back throw into the back air. Okay. okay. Yeah, you had to immediate a hero spin there because you don't want to expend your jump just to avoid um, not getting back to the stage, but you also want to expend your resources to get back onto the stage, and that's unfortunately not good on stage interaction as Marcus connects to the down smash <laughs> forward smash combo. <laughs> and then throwing out a couple other forward smashes just while the star KO is happening, just to you're remind kind of, Delta yeah, Force he's, what he's up against. You know, it also just be to unstay all the moves, you know. He's been spamming yeah. a good amount of aerials here and there, but maybe just getting the force smashes out of the way could benefit him in the long run. Oh yeah, definitely. Ooh, okay, catching the roll of that F tilt there. Ooh. We're gonna see, oh. ooh, good air dodge there. Yeah, Marcus has been one of the few players we've seen today who's contesting the, uh, or rather, Playing it around the high recovery coverage that Delta Force is having there, but catching the air dodge there with the up smash is going to even this up pretty even in percent too. Another seven. <laughs> and oh, okay, go. well, okay, each player had an apple. They had an yeah. apple, but they will keep their doctor away from each of them. Okay, and the down smash there, and using these bombs to just really <laughs> pressure yeah, Delta Force. Oh, yep, that bucket which. Honestly, I forgot about it. <laughs> just kind of coming up. I think the bombs and absorption. Uh, yeah. yeah. On the blast. Yeah, most likely. But like, that just goes to show like, there's there's characters like Game Watch where like you have to keep an eye out on things like the bucket because they can just come out whenever you are not ready, and it, it can just be a game changer in the set. Because while this was looking like a pretty even thing, and like, look, there's like a 80% gap there, the bucket just completely changed the game. And now it's a run it back situation for Delta Force as he, well, I, I guess they played Pokemon Stadium 2 for six games in a row. Why not make it seven? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Like, both of these players seem more than comfortable on the stage, and. Like, honestly, I, at this point, I'm expecting them to just skip over bands and just say, run it back at this point. <laughs> they both don't seem to want to make any changes, because, I mean, it's working. Like, they both picked up wins on this stage, so. 
They've been picking up these wins all right because both these players. Ooh, okay. Ooh, that back air is being such a good tool, and there's, yeah, no bomb, no jump. Delta Force just gonna have to sit there and slowly fall to his death. It's going to be a uh, quick stock lead here for Marcus in game two. And okay, Grab there is finally gonna break the pressure. Give Delta Force a chance to start getting in some more damage. The up smash not quite killing, but that was actually kind of close. This second one stale, so it's not going to uh, get get close to the kill as it was before. But yeah, oh now my God, just what sitting. Are these <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Marcus has been taking a lot of damage. He's finally starting to rack up some more damage uh, for themselves. Uh, ooh, forcing Delta Force onto the ledge. It's a scary situation because Game of Watch now has rage. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Drag down the force was not enough to stall out the hero spin. But I'm surprised Marcus is living onto 140%. And that, yeah, ah, there we go. Bomb. Yep. Yep, Delta Force once again picking up probably like the fourth or fifth kill with uh, like a high bomb throw we've seen this tournament. Making such good use of that bomb as a coverage option. Yeah, a lot of these projectiles being reflected from from Marcus, and it just goes to show you that even if there are project physical projectiles, even though you can't absorb them, they are easily reflectable, which I think is the meaningful change for this matchup because it just makes Game Watch. A lot more feasible in the matchup. Yeah, okay, you're trying to come up special in your control. <laughs> Who are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Bro thinks he's um, uh, a meister with these up smashes, but regardless, it's actually a pretty even game now. Even though uh, Marcus was able to get off to a pretty good start, it's pretty even. Uh, both these players sitting around 70 80%. Uh, but Marcus does have that game lead, so. Yeah, you still have to think the onus to approach oh, on Delta it. Force. Ooh, yeah, absolutely getting away with that one there. Uh, Delta Force just dropping shield a bit too Last early. Match. Ooh, yeah. And now we're at last stock, even percents here for game number two. Yeah, that's just like how the cookie crumbles there. You know, you fall into an up smash, you gotta expect that to happen at the very least. Turn around up till gets the conversion up to down for that 21%, but this is dangerous territory if you get grabbed. Yeah, and you can yeah, see he's fishing for these grabs. And if you don't fish for them, you just gotta get the damage you can because uh, the nair trains can definitely get you the damage you need. But look at the way Elsa Force is just zoning out. I mean, yeah, you get hit by your own bomb. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, getting hit by your own bomb might have been beneficial towards the, the judge combo. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Bomb coming out. Mark is doing a good job of reflecting he's just that. For that blast. Yeah. He's just waiting for the force to detonate the bomb so he can absorb it. <laughs> Ooh, okay, the backer is coming out, forming a big wall. Ooh, not able oh, to get the follow up. Dash attack just a bit short. Yeah, hi. Yeah, Delta Force is now controlling his own zone with the boomerang and the bomb. He's doing a good job at it. Look at that Nair just beating at the bomb. Oh, that's a high hero spin. Uh, he did not fall from the back, but Marcus tried to predict it. Yeah. Which, I mean, in the case of Game & Watch, like, you don't really have anything that's going to be able to poke through the PS2 platform that's going to be getting the kills, so you just hope that they fall through the platform. But this is now Marcus sitting at 132% oh! offstage! That was dangerous, and he's just like, let me get that up there. Up throw might do it here. No, not enough fight yet. Just another forward throw. The sudden dump, and Marcus offstage, the bunk and next. Any good throw should do it. Any good hit should... Get Delta Force a game two win here. I'm pretty sure history is going to be repeating itself here. Ooh, up throw? Yeah. There we go. The up throw there is going to get Delta Force game number two. So it looks like my prediction of a 3 0 was wrong. You were on track with 3 1. But we're going to have to see uh, what changes going into game three here because this was, I feel like this is definitely a good start for Marcus, but the momentum just wasn't there to keep it going throughout the rest of the game. Like, Delta Force was really able to pull that back. Yeah, and I think we got the wrong game highlights in, if we're seeing them <laughs> right now. Because uh, we are running it back for uh, the eighth game in a row. Yep. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, sweet? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the Jap there is going to beat out the fair, and this is a lot of damage coming on to Marcus to start this set off. Only yeah, maybe 81%. History, maybe history really is repeating itself. Yeah. 
Oh, like... that's a decent recovery there from Marcus. He gets back up to the stage. Oh, stock loss that. That is going to be. Uh, yeah, that's uh, like a 30 second stock, I think it was. Like, yes, it absolutely. Was. Yeah. Just crazy fast pace coming out from Delta Force there. Do you hear okay. the back row? Can you hear? You could not find the back air. And Marcus, yeah, there you go. Just gotta keep front. That's one thing, but you can't guess everything. Uh oh, you gotta get a bomb here. Yeah, just gotta bomb? get the back on stage. Okay, Dash Track is at least able to follow up, so Delta Force does not get uh, center stage control back. Mark is doing a good job of holding that against Delta Force. Ooh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, look at everything that Mark is just throwing out there. Just Delta Force is trying to come yeah. out against it. That's a big shaft. Yeah. He's gonna find the back air, he will. Mm -hmm. Yep. The back air doing a, an amazing job. Like. I've been singing the praise of that move every time Marcus has been on the screen, just because it is such a good move and Marcus knows it. Yeah, it's been a good move for him because back there is like one of the better. Oh my god, oh, oh. the blue rank saving today for Delta Force on that down throw. Forward, we're going to take the stock and he's up pretty big in this game three. Yeah, that's basically a full stock lead at this point. Uh, and while it is game and watching, oh, okay. <laughs> Marcus is like. He's not getting those, he's those judge hammers intact. He's just not landing them. That's like been a yeah. big problem for Marcus when he tries to throw them out. Okay. He's able to get the dash attack there. Oh, and, okay, this is a good situation for Marcus to be in. That's it. I have no idea why that sent him so far down. But, it was supposed to drag uh, him down and he got hit midway. Uh, okay, yeah. I mean, yeah, that, but that's absolutely what Marcus needed to stay in this game. Uh, but that's a big combo from Delta Force, though. High bomb. Now we go high up B. Are we going to see up air? No, we're just going to see Delta Force trying to fish for Marcus's option. He still has the projectile out the forward smash. Funny enough, up is gone now. And this oh, is okay. That was a six. Yeah. But that, that did help bring the percentage game a little bit more even for these two. Because uh, there's a bit where Delta Force is kind of running away with the damage. Ooh, another grab. Okay. Back in there, there's a bomb. Not gonna get the second part of the hitbox, unfortunately. Now Delta Force is in the last trap situation. Catches, and that's there you go. Catches the forward tail on the Ooh. landing. Now Delta Force is one game away from resetting the bracket. Yeah, Delta Force doing a really good job there in that game. Uh, he's definitely showing adaptation against Marcus here, and is able to put Marcus into the uh, win or go, go into the reset situation here. Yeah. We've seen this from the first game, like from the first set, where Delta Force won the next two games in a row, but then Marcus is able to squeeze his way into a five-game set win. We're going to see Pokemon Stadium 2 for the ninth game in a row. <laughs> so, this is set really history. Yep. Okay, there you go. Damage comes out, 34%. Yeah. This, this is a solid, that's a solid damage combo. Uh, Marcus has just been finding so much more success going for those consistent damage combos than rather than judges off these throws. And I think kind of starting to realize that and know that like, yeah, at this point, just the consistency is better than the, what could be some, in some situations, a Hail Mary. No, yeah, it was like, every time he's gone for the judge hammer, he's either been uh, decent a bit behind or behind where it's like not recoverable, but like. Yeah. I, I, I really think going for damage right now with those downfall combos with Marcus's end has to be the, the game plan going forward because getting that consistent damage is definitely helping him out with things like that back air and the chef combo. Doesn't find the back air there, but next one there. Okay, he's got a jump. He's not going to expend it with the bomb, but gets a reversal on the spin. Yeah, and the tech on the stage, uh, very important for Zelda Force to hit there. Oh, oh but the chair! That's gonna put out enough pressure and damage for Marcus to take that stock. Ooh, trying to wait out that air dodge, but the platform is there to save Marcus. Yeah, and we just to see more of these projectiles come in here for Delta Force. You know, definitely not over for for Delta Force. You know, he can definitely change the course of history and make sure it doesn't repeat itself and go to a gay vibe and make sure he gets a bracket reset. Oh, good! Oh. Put the hero spin. Yeah, that's the first time we've seen a uh, ledge trump into the hero spin out of Delta Force, and yeah, just made it do work there, bringing this game to even stocks. But Marcus is getting some. He got it! Oh, oh I didn't kill! Yeah. Backer's gonna take it though. He's gonna go for a bomb pull. Wait, he got a jump. Never mind. Yeah. How I was. I was. Hold on to these jumps. 
I, I'm like, I, I think that just shows like the mastery of character that Delta Force has. Is like with the links, like you need to be holding your jumps to be able to recover against uh, some characters. Oh, that have <laughs> oh I just attacked the wrong way. Bottle okay. again. I got it the oh, wrong way. Yeah, unfortunate. Uh, so that's going to be Marcus with the stock lead here. But Delta Force. Oh, okay. He got Almost hit by connecting the connecting that. I don't yeah. think he was expecting that to be much. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he was looking for that grab, doesn't find it at all. And now we're gonna see the Nerex come out. Here comes more damage. Okay, Ooh. he's trying to drag it down for a grab. I respect it. Yeah. <laughs> he's just, I'm just in so much grabs in the past, like, 15 seconds coming out from Marcus. He just really wants to go on to game five as soon as he can. Yeah, the sooner he can get it, the better, because, um... You can't let Delta Force lay in any momentum or else you're going to end up in a situation where you may end up going to a back of reset when you really don't think you should have. Care comes out, Delta Force is in a terrible situation, down they're going to connect, not gonna spike unfortunately, Whoa. back air will not force game spike quite yet, but maybe the next bomb drop, no it will not, the hero spin will connect. Yeah, such great play there from Delta Force to get back to the stage, but sitting at over 107% on the last stock, the bucket is also kind of getting filled up too. Uh, this is a very precarious predicament for Delta Force. <laughs> Back air is going to connect once again. Down air, not going to get the hit. Forward tilt out of range. Another one connects. Delta, Another 10 situation yeah. two players. Yeah, Delta trying their damn best to keep Marcus on the edge of Blink's <laughs> zone. Bomb. The bomb. Okay. Oh, no. Second one will connect, and we go into a game five once again. Yeah, that was a good frame trap there with the bomb into the bomb there as he gets up from the ledge. This is this is a high intense set, intensity set. This is every moment just feels like it could convert into a situation where where one of these players loses a stock. The situation is set for both of these players. If Marcus wins, he wins Fusion 189. If Delta Force wins, we have another set. And we have Pokemon City and 2 for the 10th game in a row. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a chance we could get it for even more games, but I don't want to speak that into existence just yet. Let's see. Uh, well, Delta Force actually off to a pretty good start here, able to get a lot of unanswered damage onto Marcus. Really, just keeping Marcus on the back foot for this, uh, for the beginning of this game five here. Yeah, and yeah, we really see the different Delta Force here in this game five because I think he was behind on the game five the last time these two players played against each other in the winners finals. If I memory serves correctly, Delta Force off to a fantastic start, but Marcus, you know, not a player to back down just yet. Out smash, not enough. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, good air dodge, gonna get through the up air there. That bomb just playing on that platform, actually doing a good job of keeping Marcus from really wanting to go for any two committal approach options. Ooh, good grab there. Yeah, he tried to read Delta Force going high there on the recovery, just couldn't find it, and the back air just whiffed off Delta Force's uh, option on the air. You know, pretty even percentage, I'm gonna be dishonest. I mean, yes, it looks like uh, Marcus is a 50% deficit, but you know, any strong hit, that's a stock for Marcus's favor. Yeah, and Marcus has also been doing a really good job with these oh, edge guards too. Here. Yeah. Oh no, he was going to get him back on this. Uh, Ooh, go to the. Yeah, there's a bomb throw right in his face. Yeah, he's yeah. just charging at the projectiles for him to put another bomb. Yeah, Delta Force is actually just going through these situations. Oh, bomb blast! It's both players, but both of them survive at the very least. Yeah, this is. Again, like the last game five between these players, it's definitely a more slow and measured start. Like, we got to almost two minutes before uh, Marcus took that first stock there. Uh, this is definitely a slower pace, and okay, good patience there, able to catch that uh, missed up, up B. This is going to be two stocks apiece. It will be two stocks apiece, and now it's just. This is the important part of this game, you know. Momentum can shift at any moment. I think whoever can take the next stock can win the set. And that's big on the forward smash from Delta Force, who's yet to take percentage up until now. Why did I commentary curse that? And that's a fight that's just gonna straight up miss. 
And, like, Delta was, like, playing very cleanly for the first bit of that, um, second stock. Almost, like, just getting a kill with having taken very little damage in return. That's a low hero thing. He wanted to get the last part of the hitbox, which does hit Marcus. Okay, bomb throws on both players. Saying more, just reject out, out on the play. High bomb, not Ooh, good to play. Yeah. Okay, trying to land these back airs is Marcus. Uh, just something to get Delta Force off stage into a bad position. But the bomb, bomb being thrown back on is going to give Delta Force a little bit of uh, safety. An area oh, where God. Marcus cannot edge guard, but get the back air there. Putting this Delta is it for Force. Marcus. One more stock. He's the fusion champion for this week. Oh, not enough. Mm -hmm. Bomb explosion. They take the stock as a high bomb. Oh. Yeah, he's kind of joking okay, for a bit. Go. Okay, last, last stock. Last stock potentially for Delta Force and for Marcus on the winner's side. Ooh, Low okay. bomb. Okay, we're gonna get a gap attack now. Okay, the chef's not really gonna be doing much here. Maybe you go for the judge combo here, you know, for the glory, but I don't see it happening. Yeah, this is definitely a judge combo for the glory, but we're gonna get some good combos coming out, regardless of their judge or not, from Marcus. Putting on some good damage. Look at that, damage. 75%. 75. Wow. If Marcus loses this game, I don't know what he's gonna think to himself because this is, a win. this is definitely a game that he can win pretty comfortably. But Delta Force has been known for these comebacks. I mean, did you see him drop the entire game? Oh yeah. Yeah, this is definitely Marcus's game to lose the bomb. There, it's going to trade very favorably. Keep Delta Force Fast off attack. stage. He's gonna back air. Oh, just this counter. Will ah. do it. And Marcus is the champion of Fusion 189. Great Gonzalez can finally rest aside and win. Oh, oh River, although Rivers he's talking about it, and he's finally back. Yeah, I mean, Marcus, again, an amazing performance from him, uh, just throughout this entire entire tournament, really, uh, just showing why he has such this big name for himself throughout not just Ultimate but the history of Smash Brothers in New Jersey. Yeah, and all Delta Force can do is smile because he tried his yeah. best. But unfortunately, history ended up repeating itself. Once again, it's at 3-2, the exact same stage, the exact same set count, the exact same game wins. Yeah, I think it was the exact same order for those game wins, too. <laughs> it is crazy. But yeah, we going to be seeing some replays from this amazing set to finish off the tournament. Yeah, that yeah. first... That first kill was like so I mean, good. All say back air from Game and Watch is what makes him one of the better characters in the game. Like back air is such a good edge guard tool and a good combo tool at early per se. Yeah, absolutely. Like, like back air on Game and Watch is one of those moves where I feel like if Game and Watch didn't have it, you'd be like dropping like a full tier. I mean, would he? He has other great tools in his disposal. <laughs> yeah, true, but like. You gotta say stuff like that because it makes good clip content. It gets people talking on Twitter. <laughs> uh, why do we got to clickbait the viewers? They've already seen what they've seen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think my biggest takeaway from this set is that Thousand Force has to hang his head high, even though history repeated itself. <laughs> but he definitely kept his own against someone like Marcus, and unfortunately, or fortunately for Rivers, he's back. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, because those both went to game five. This was at like there's positions where Delta Force could have absolutely taken the set win. And, you know, should they play again like next week or an, another fusion bit down the line? It could go Delta Force's way. Yes, but unfortunately, the way the fusion ends is in distress for Delta Force's backer was definitely the biggest of reasons. Why Marcus was able to secure the set. And this oh, is the yeah. last stock of the tournament. How did it went down? Dash attack into a down air. Yeah, uses the back air to try to force out uh, a lower recovery or just catch a higher recovery. And then the down air, just a follow up on, in like the frame trap. Just pick up the kill and make Marcus the champion of fusion number 189. And that's going to be doing it for us here on Collisions Twitch. And uh, we like to thank you all for joining in on this wonderful Monday afternoon, whether it be rain or shine, no matter where you're watching around the world. And 
hopefully we could bring you in more of this content in the future for everyone in the collision staff for everyone of you in the twitch chat this is flygon this is supernova and we're gonna stay so long for today and we'll be seeing so you guys here in, ne in fusion next week